Samsung has been a major player in the foldable phone arena, and the Z Flip 6 is their newest offering in this innovative space. With its sleek design and promising features, it's clear that Samsung is aiming to make a statement. But does this device live up to the hype? Or is it just another flashy addition to their lineup? I'll be breaking down everything you need to know about this device, from its design to its performance. So, stay tuned. Samsung is back with its sixth iteration of the Z Flip series. It's sleek, it's compact, and it's definitely a head-turner. But I believe the real question is whether it's worth the hefty price tag, starting at just over a grand. When you compare that to its competitors like Motorola's Razer, you have to wonder if it justifies the extra cash. Fans of Samsung's flip phones will find the Z Flip 6 quite familiar. It's like taking a narrow iPhone and snapping it in half, which if you ask me is probably the best thing you could do to an iPhone, almost like a mercy killing. But in all seriousness, the Z Flip 6 has this flat-edged finish that makes it less comfortable to hold compared to the Razer, which has rounded edges. The sharp corners of the Flip 6 can press into your palm, making it a bit awkward. Plus, digging your thumb into the fold to open it isn't the easiest task, especially if you don't have strong thumbnails. Durability is key for any phone, especially a foldable one. The hinge and frame are built from Samsung's Enhanced Armor Aluminum. After a week of use, including a festival trip, I can confirm it's still scratch-free. The cover screen and rear are made of Gorilla Glass Victus 2, which is more scratch-resistant than its predecessor. I did notice a tiny nick on the back, but it's barely noticeable. Let's move on to the cover screen. The 3.4-inch Super AMOLED cover screen isn't as large as the Razer's, but it's free from camera lens obstructions, which I believe is a plus. Navigation is swift, although sometimes a bit too sensitive. You can cram in multiple widgets, making it quite functional. Now, unfolding the Z Flip 6 reveals its 6.7-inch dynamic AMOLED 2x display. It's crisp with a 2640 by 1080 resolution and supports a refresh rate from 1 Hz up to 120 Hz. I believe it's perfect for watching videos or multitasking. The crease in the middle is mostly unnoticeable during use and the screen is bright enough to counter reflection. The stereo speakers are loud and clear, making it great for media consumption. Software-wise, it runs on Samsung's One UI, which is quite heavy compared to stock Android. I prefer a lighter interface, but One UI brings some neat features like Bixby and various AI tools. These are conveniently tucked away in the Galaxy AI menu, including chat assist, interpreter, and photo tools. One feature I love is the circle search which is incredibly quick and useful for finding information. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor and 12 gigabytes of RAM ensure smooth performance, even for gaming. Samsung has managed to include a vapor chamber for cooling, making it capable of handling long gaming sessions. Unfortunately, battery life is where the Z Flip 6 falls short. With a 4,000 mAh battery, I found it quite limiting, especially for heavy users. On average, I got around five hours of screen on time with mixed usage. Days with heavy camera use brought that down to about 4 hours. Charging is also slow, with only 25W wired charging and slow wireless charging. If you're a heavy user, you'll likely need to recharge during the day, which isn't ideal. The camera setup includes a 50MP main sensor and a 12MP ultra-wide sensor. Photos are generally good, with vibrant colors and decent detail. However, indoor HDR shots can have some flair, and low light shots can be noisy. Digital zoom goes up to 10 times, but there's no dedicated telephoto lens, which I believe is a missed opportunity. The front camera is a 10 MP sensor, which is fine for video calls. For selfies, it's better to use the rear cameras with the cover screen as a viewfinder. The phone supports 4K video recording at 60 frames per second with impressive stabilization, making it great for vlogging. So I believe the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6 is a mixed bag. It's a stylish, compact phone with impressive durability and decent camera. However, the battery life and the performance on the cover screen are significant drawbacks. For the price, I believe there are better options out there, like the Motorola Razr. But that's just my opinion. What do you think about the Galaxy Z Flip 6? Have you tried it? Or are you planning to get one? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more reviews and tech content.